y'all today we're doing something that um, I've kind of wanted to do for a little while but um, I've never done it I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> and as usual I'm gonna maybe watch like one YouTube video on it <laughs> and then just wing the rest and then I'm, we're also gonna do like a quick little speed draw at the end so the thing that I've been wanting to do for a while is learning how to style wigs specifically I okay so I have like an obsession with really big hair I don't you can't tell right now I mean I have examples I'm gonna post like a few examples here of when I actually go through the effort of styling my hair fully I used to do my hair a lot I am very well versed in vintage setting patterns and I've done vintage setting patterns from like the 30s all the way up to like the 60s and 70s well maybe not the 70s mostly like up to the 60s I really love vintage hair and I have been like for the past I want to say like three years now which is like very long for me for a hairstyle I've been obsessed with just like big hair big hair Dolly Parton drag queen like law big like 60s beehive big hair I've been specifically really into which is why you probably see me do it all the time now is like the little like half up ponytail with like the bow my hair is too short to do like the full thing and actually there's like two girls that I follow on TikTok who both and Instagram who both have like beautiful hair I'm gonna post them right here that's like such a hair goal for me but I also always really really loved Dolly Parton's older hairstyles from like the 60s and 70s like just the big big hair so I'm gonna try to style a wig today in try to make it big and then we're gonna just draw a cute little illustration of Dolly Parton because she's a queen so yeah that's basically what we're gonna do what are you eating I ordered a wig off of Amazon it is a human hair wig I've never really like ordered a wig well no okay I've ordered wigs for cosplay before but I've never ordered like a human hair lace front wig I've gotten wigs from Stevie Rosalie here I'm gonna put her stuff here there's a lot of stuff I'm showing you guys today which I love but I kind of wanted to try to do it also now I've never really done it ordered one I got this wig off of Amazon it's a human hair it's shorter than I thought it would be <laughs> I kind of didn't measure that's on me they gave measurements I just was like that 18 inches sounds long I don't know why I did that to myself I have dyscalculia which is like a math disability which is like a legitimate thing it's like your brain can't process numbers well you flip numbers around all the time and you don't really understand at least in my case I don't really understand like the weight of numbers if that makes sense I mix up number anyway all of that to say basically is I read 18 inches and went that's so big that's a big number hey 18 inch sound long number so I mean I'm sure this is 18 inches I just thought it would probably I feel like I probably need more than this for a really big hairstyle <laughs> Um, I know that like drag queens and stuff use like two wigs and I'm sure that Dolly Parton used two wigs but I think we're just gonna try as best as we try as best as we can oh gosh here we go try as best as we can to get it as big and curly as possible this is a human hair wig which is good for me because I know how to tone and curl human hair and not synthetic hair so I guess what we're gonna do is it's very yellow so I'm gonna tone it first I have some toner because I do my hair a lot on my own so I have some toner so I'm probably just gonna give it a tone and I also have purple shampoo so I can do that as well just to take out this like really yellow tone and make it a little more ashy and then I'm just going to curl it with my rollers we're going to put a dryer thing on it and then we're going to tease it and try to get it as high as possible. So yeah, we're going to do our first little thing. Yeah. So I'm going to go tone this. Uh, I'll take you with me, I guess. Welcome to my tiki bathroom. 
I changed because I didn't want to get like stuff on my dress. I have this uh, violet toner from Wella and 20 volume developer. I'm just going to mix the two and then put it on this, just brush it on. And then I'm probably going to shampoo it, like let it sit for a little bit. Then I'm going to shampoo it with um, purple shampoo. I have like shimmer lights, I think it is and some conditioner and then let it dry and, or well, no, actually we don't even need to let it dry because I do wet sets. So I'm going to do that. It's gonna be wet and then I'm gonna put it in curlers and then we're gonna dry it with my like bonnet thing. So yeah, we're just gonna do that then. Um, I'm just gonna put like, I don't know. I, I'm not a hairstylist, FYI, so nobody come for me especially because this isn't on my own head <laughs> so i kind of fucked up um i think i mixed too much of that violet in and turned some a bunch of parts of this gray whoops i guess that's what you get for not being a professional um i left a bunch of blonde in here because i'm hoping that when this dries it'll blend a little better but i could be completely wrong and it could look really awful so yeah, I have no idea. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I'm not a professional, obviously. And this is all just kind of winging it. So whoopsies. Anyway, we'll um, curl it. I guess we'll set it and curl it and see how it turns out. <laughs> Yay. All right. So my hair looks like a mess because it accidentally went into the shower. Also ignore all of this is stuff for conventions. Um, I forgot that I have to cut this because it's all kind of like one length. I've never really trimmed hair styles before, but I have this book from the 60s on how to cut and style wigs step by step. So I think I'm going to try to do some at least like the bangs and like the front features because I want the rest kind of long so I can set it but I think it does need at least some layers I know I probably need some sort of like yeah long midi cut or something so I might look up a chart online I don't know really how to read them but I'm gonna figure it out because listen I have ADHD and I don't like sitting if I'm in the middle of something I don't want to sit and read instructions <laughs> I just want to do it which um, also might be why this turned out gray. So sometimes it doesn't work out, but sometimes it might. And we're just winging it because my whole channel is chaos. And yeah, so yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna figure it out <laughs> and see what happens. But see, look, it tells you like how to do, oh, how to do certain cuts and everything. So I'm good at following pictures, so I'll figure it out. Okay, so this is how I cut it so far. Um, the layers are definitely like, you can definitely see the layers, but the reason why I decided to put like really obvious layers in here is because she has like very short curly parts on top of her head and then like it gets longer. So my thought process was that you would need shorter layers to do the shorter curls on top and tease it to get that like big volume on the crown of the head is what I think. Again, I am in no way, shape or form a professional hair stylist. I literally just am following this and this is for like short hair too so i was just kind of like making it long so we're gonna just set it and see what happens um i'm trying to do something similar to this so like i gave her some bangs but like i gave longer bangs so that i can style these parts up here 
um, that curl and like as you can see in here she has like short layers up in here so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to I don't have like a setting pattern to follow this but I have done a lot of setting patterns from just photos and trying to gauge like how things like what type of curl pattern it would need and everything so I'm just gonna like side a deep side part and then like all of this looks curled this way that's curled that way so I'm just gonna try to put together a setting pattern based off of this photo and we'll see what happens okay so my camera shit the bed the shutter decided to just like stop doing its thing and stop opening I guess so it is currently at a place to see if they can repair it. So now I have to film things on my iPhone. So I apologize if the quality is a little weird or worse or whatever. It's because I'm filming on my iPhone while my camera gets repaired. So let's take these out. They're definitely dry because it's been sitting here for like a day because of my camera. So we're going to take these out. Um, unfortunately I can't do like a time lapse or everything that like I wanted to do because of my phone and I don't have as much space um, but I can spin this around and show you kind of like the set that I have this is kind of what I'm working with so we're gonna take these out and see how it looks okay so this is just all of the curlers out um definitely worked i feel like it's given me a little bit of vibes uh definitely gray here and that's my bad for toning it a little too intense but i guess what we're gonna do now is i'm just gonna tease it and start styling it i wish that i could do a time lapse but i can't so i don't know what to tell you <laughs> sorry um, this is just gonna be the way that it is for however long it takes until I get my camera fixed. So I will, I guess, check back in once this is teased and styled and I guess I'll put it on and show you what it looks like. We're getting there. It's pretty cute still. I did it. That's what it looks like. I kind of don't hate this little silver piece because when I was looking at the reference image, she has like white up here. So I was like kind of the same. <laughs> I'm just trying to make excuses for my mistake, that's all. But yeah, so I just sprayed like the absolute shit out of this. Also, if you ever want a really good hairspray, this one's my favorite and it smells really good too. But yeah, so that's this. So I mean... I'm gonna, it's not as big, you know, but also like the wig doesn't have as much hair as I would like. I think I would need a specific wig or two wigs, but like you can, I had to be really mindful of how I was doing it because you could start seeing the wefts and stuff. So we'll see. I'm gonna put it on and, and see what happens.
that's basically this video. I just did this quick little drawing of Dolly Parton because she's just an icon and I think it turned out really cute. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed me <laughs> picking wigs. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry about my camera breaking. I don't know what happened. I was literally recording and then one minute later it just decided to stop. I don't know. It's stupid. But I'm getting it fixed, so hopefully it will be fixed soon. But yeah, let me know if you want me to do more wig videos or if I should stick more to drawing. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Eat um, some ice cream, enjoy Popsicle, and take a nap. Links to everything, as usual, is in the box below. Alright, goodbye!